She's scared of heights. You're wondering why I'm going on about this fear thing, right? Well, check this out. in a climbing class to find out exactly what happens at a climbing wall. I hope I don't develop a sudden fear of heights. Okay, before I get too scared, I'm going to go find a pro climber so he can fill me in on exactly what I need to know. With me is a qualified rock climbing instructor here at City Rock, Oliver. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Jody. Can you tell us what do you have to do to become a qualified climbing instructor? Well, I started climbing when I was about 12 years old. It takes years and years of training and practice, practice and <laughs> lots and lots of climbing to become an instructor. Cool. But, so there are mountains out, outside and people climb them all the time. So what's the big deal about indoor climbing? Well, what happens in winter? When it's pouring with rain and you want to go climbing. Very true. And it's a lot safer, I suppose. It is safe, but it doesn't equip you with all the skills to go outside. There's still more you have to do outside than you do inside. There are loads of routes here at you up. So could you tell us the names of some of them? Well, each route has got its own name. Uh, they're graded and named by the person who set them. We've got some crazy names like Visions of Cosmic Doom, uh, <laughs> the Under King route, okay. um, Crook Me If You Can. And in terms of loads of like climbing jargon, there are loads of words that lots of us don't understand. Can you tell us the names of them and more importantly what they mean? Okay, jargon, we've got jargon for the actual grips that you hold on to. We've got things like jugs, crimpers, slopers, dynamic moves. We've got chicken heads. Then we've got the whole rope technique where we've got belaying and we've got um, various safety checks that we go through, figure eight not be tired with, doubling back the harness. The list is endless. Cool. And belaying, which comes up a lot, is when the two people here in turn, yes. they That's when sort of the, balancing each other. The person who's climbing is being held by the belayer. The belayer is the person who controls the rope. So that if the climber falls, the belayer will hopefully stop it with the ground. <laughs> well, most importantly, before we start our lesson, could you please get me all rigged up so I don't fall off the wall? No problem. Let's get the gear right now. Cool. Let's go. Let me just explain, you've got some chalk here, mm -hmm. and when your hands get sweaty, you're going to put your hands inside there and shake it about, so you can do that now, and the chalk just absorbs the sweat in your hand, so you don't slip off. Okay, and this stays in the back of your harness over there. All right, so I'm going to tie you on, and use a double figure of eight knot, like that, and that's going to tie through there, and you can put it on yourself, through the brown the bottom bit of the harness. All the way down here. Yes. So we've got the nut done, the harness is done, the gear device is on. And we're ready to climb. You're ready to climb. Wow, I think I did okay, even though I'm a rookie. Let's see. I totally handled the crux. I found the most perfect chicken head. There was a point where I was gripped, but in the end, I had an epic adventure. 